Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 28th question for CBSE Class 10, 2023-24, Additional Practice Questions for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question has an OR question as well. That is either you can attempt this question or another question. So we will be discussing both the questions in the same video. So let us start with this question and this question is from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter. Given below is a pair of linear equations 2x minus my equal to 9 and 4x minus ny equal to 9. Find at least one pair of possible values of m and n if they exist for which the above pair of linear equations has a unique solution infinitely many solutions no solution show your work so let us understand the question first here they have given us two equations 2x minus my equal to 9 and 4x minus ny equal to 9 now we have to find out the values of m and n in such a way that the values of m and n satisfies a unique solution infinitely many solutions or no solutions they may satisfy these solutions or they may not so let us start with the first one that is finding a unique solution and let us write down the condition for unique solution now the condition is a1 over a2 should not be equal to b1 over b2 now what is this a1 a2 b1 and b2 let us come to this equation now a1 represents the coefficient of x in the first equation so a1 the coefficient of x is 2 so let us write a1 as 2 b1 is going to be the coefficient of y that is minus m so let us write here minus m and c1 is going to be the constant so in this case we have 9 similarly let us write a2 b2 and c2 for the second line so a2 is going to be the coefficient of x so in this case it is 4 now coefficient of y is b2 so in this line we have negative n similarly let us write c2 here we have the value of constant as 9 now simply we have to just substitute the values of a1 a2 b1 and b2 in this unique solution so let us write here a1 we have the value as 2 and a2 we have the value as 4 this should not be equal to b1 we have as negative m over b2 we have it as negative n now the negative and negative we can just cancel off so 2 over 4 also can be reduced so we can just divide it in the table of 2 2 1 times and 2 2 times and we are left with 1 over 2 should not be equal to m over n that means we can take any value of m over n but make sure that it is not equal to 1 over 2 simply we can take any number so in this case I am going to take the numbers as 4 over 5 because 4 over 5 is not equal to 1 over 2 so these are the values I am going to choose for m over n so let me come over here and write the equations for the unique solution so we have found out the value of m and n and we are going to write the equations as 2x minus now in place of m I have chosen 4 so 4y is equal to 9 and in the second equation in place of n I am going to just substitute 5 so here we are going to write 4x minus 5y is equal to 9 so these are the values of m and n we have chosen for the unique solution now let us check for the infinitely many solutions now the condition for infinitely many solutions is a1 over a2 should be equal to b1 over b2 should be equal to c1 over c2 so let us just substitute the values of a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 from these two lines which they have given so we have the value of a1 a2 as 2 and 4 let us put over here so we have 2 over 4 is equal to b1 over b2 so we have minus m over minus n so here minus m divided by minus n is equal to c1 over c2 so c1 is 9 and c2 is 9 so 9 over 9 so let us simplify these fractions 2 over 4 can be simplified as 1 over 2 
because they both go in the table of 2 is equal to negative and negative can be just cancelled from the numerator and denominator so we get only m over n and 9 over 9 that is 1 over 1 now we can clearly see that 1 over 2 is not equal to 1 over 1 so it is impossible to get a number for m and n that satisfies equal to 1 over 2 at the same time it should satisfy 1 over 1 so getting a value of m over n which satisfies this condition is impossible so we are going to just write here the condition for infinitely many solutions can never be satisfied so it is impossible to frame an equation for the given lines we can never get a value of m over n which will be equal to 1 over 2 and 1 at the same time so now let us move on to the third condition that is to find a value of m and n for no solution so let us write down the condition here now the condition is a1 over a2 should be equal to b1 over b2 should not be equal to c1 over c2 so let us again substitute the values a1 was 2 a2 is 4 b1 was negative m over negative n should not be equal to 9 over 9 now let us again simplify this we get it as 1 over 2 is equal to negative and negative can again be cancelled we get it as m over n should not be equal to 1 over 1 because 9 and 9 divides each other now m and n should be equal to 1 over 2 you can take any value of m over n that will be equal to 1 over 2 so you can take 3 over 6 because again it comes down to 1 over 2 or you can take 4 over 8 or you can take 5 over 10 anything so here I am going to choose 3 over 6 and I am going to represent m as 3 and n as 6 and I am going to substitute those values in this given equation so the new equation is going to be 2x minus so let me write here 2x minus 3y equal to 9 and the second equation is going to be 4x minus 6 now n represents 6 so 6y equal to 9 so this is the value of m and n for the no solution so here we have found out the values of m and n for a unique solution for infinitely many solutions it was not possible to satisfy the condition and for no solution we got the value of m and n because it is equal to 1 over 2 so you can choose any fraction which will be equal to 1 over 2 now let us move on to the next question now this is an OR question and this question also belongs to the pair of linear equations in two variables chapter 6 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 are two of the points of intersections of two lines represented by a pair of linear equations the first question is how many points of intersections does the pair of linear equations have in total justify your answer and the second question is find the equation that represents one of the lines of the above pair and show your work now let us concentrate on the given two points here 6 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 are two of the points of intersections of two lines that means these two lines are going to have two meeting points or two points of intersection now if we are talking about the intersecting lines we know that they meet at only one point this way and if you are talking about parallel lines we know that they will never meet each other so they do not have any points of intersection but there is a third category which is called as coincident lines or overlapping lines where one line is overlapping another line this way so it is in this case where we can see more than one solution that is two solution three solution four solutions infinitely many solutions since in the question it is clearly mentioned that 6 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 are two points of intersection of these two lines that means they belong to the third category of lines that is coincident lines so let us write over here the pair will have infinitely many solutions because there are more than one point of intersections as given in the question so the pair is of coincident or overlapping lines so we have answered the first question 
Now let us look at the second question. That is find the equation that represents one of the lines of above pair. So let us write down the general format of a linear equation. So it is given as ax plus by equal to c. Now let us consider the first given coordinates that is 6 comma 0. Now here we can see that the value of x is equal to 6 and the value of y is equal to 0. So let us substitute the value of x and y in this equation now. So we get here a times 6. So in place of x we write 6 plus b times y which is 0 is equal to c. So here simplifying it a times 6 is 6a plus b times 0 is 0. So this is equal to c. So we can further write it as a is equal to c over 6. So let us take it as our equation 1. Similarly we are going to take the second coordinate now which is 0 comma 2 and do the same thing as we did for 6 comma 0. So here we have 0 comma 2. So here x value is equal to 0 and we have y value equal to 2. So again we are going to substitute these values in this equation. So we are going to write it as a and in place of x 0 plus b and in place of y we will write 2 is equal to c. So a times 0 is 0 plus b times 2 is 2b equal to c. So now we will write b is equal to taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign we get c over 2 and let us take it as equation 2. Now we will come back over here in this equation and substitute the value of a we got in terms of c and in place of b we will substitute its value in terms of c. So now rewriting here in place of a we have c over 6. So c over 6x plus in place of b we are going to write c over 2y is equal to c. That is substituting in this equation the value of a and b. Next let us assume that the value of c is 1. So let me write over here. So we will rewrite this expression as 1 over 6x plus 1 over 2y is equal to 1. That is taking c equal to 1. So taking the common LCM let us multiply here with 3 and here with 3 to get the denominator as 6 and here it is 1 over 1 so we will multiply the numerator with 6 and denominator by 6. So here we get 1x over 6 plus 3y over 6 equal to 6 over 6. So we can just cancel off the denominators now because this is a common denominator and we are going to get it as x plus 3y is equal to 6. So this is the equation of the lines of the above pair which we have got by using the coordinates given to us that is 6 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. So we made use of the general form of linear equation ax plus by equal to c. Once we substituted the value of x and y as 6 comma 0 and got the value of a in terms of c and then we substituted the second coordinate 0 comma 2 in the same expression to get b in terms of c. So once we get the value of a and b in terms of c we substitute it in ax plus by equal to c and then assuming the value of c as 1 we are going to simplify the given equation. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving these examples do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.